So this is posterior anterior um, accessory movement of the glenohumeral joint. This is, we'll start with the indirect mobilization. So we want to get the patient in 90 degrees abduction. We bring the arms just, just around the forearm there, and the thumbs on the muscle, the bicep muscle belly there. And all we're going to do is we're going to radial deviate like so. We're going to find the range first. So then go to grade one. Grade two, grade three, and grade four. And that's the indirect. The direct, or oh, sorry, you can do the indirect again in slightly more adduction. Just same principle again. Finger, uh, thumbs over bicep belly, and just again radial deviate again. Um, and in terms of the direct, it's important to put the patient in the, an angle on the bed and you're going to find the posterior back to the chromium. When you find that, you come down an inch inferiorly and come across laterally. And with your two thumbs, you're going to push in horizontally until you feel bone. So about there. And we'll find the bone, drop down an inch, then push in horizontally and then push up towards the sky. So we're going to find the range. That's Derek's in the range, so again, grade one will be about there, grade two will be grade three, gauge resistance, back to the middle, and grade four right at the end there. 